Starting tomorrow, code enforcement officers will scour the streets in search of restaurant parklets violating codes. Our ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains when those restaurants that refuse to fix violations could start facing fines. At South Park's Rad Habits Juice Company, the parklet outside is exactly what the city wants to see. They have their reflectors. That's cool. And it doesn't come out into the um, traffic lane. It's staying in the area. It's staying in front of the business, so it's good. But Leslie Senate knows that many other parklets around San Diego have work to do. In fact, across the street, a restaurant had a roof over its on-street dining space, a violation of state fire codes. It blocks the access for the fire department. So if you have several um, structures with roofs and over height, they can't get through to the business on the other side. Senate is the city's deputy director for code enforcement. Starting Tuesday, her team will begin visiting the 400 plus permitted outdoor business setups in San Diego, making sure they're in compliance. When the pandemic hit, the city allowed businesses to expand onto sidewalks and streets. But instead of the simple parklets it envisioned, some restaurants spent tens of thousands of dollars making their parklets elaborate. The city pushed its compliance deadline back twice leading up to Tuesday. We wanted to make sure that we were ensuring the safety of our citizens while still supporting our businesses who are also our citizens. Businesses out of compliance will get 30 days to fix the problems, such as removing roofs or getting parklets off red curbs. If they don't, they'll face a hearing where they could be fined $100 per violation per day, down from the original threat of $1,000. John Horn, ABC 10 News. Now we're told the city does have grant money available to help businesses get their parklets into compliance. It is also working on a program called Spaces and Places to make outdoor operations permanent.